All right, let's start this thing. So, I received this in the mail today, which looks like a regular envelope for mailing something. Can I cover up my address, of course? And this is from, what is it? It comes from Bologna, Italy. Look at that. That's something called Unix stickers. What is Unix stickers? Well, okay. Well, it's not opening as nice as I thought. There we go. You have little PC badges you get on your computers. Uh, one second. Look, a little something like. Oh, oh more cables put in there. Not my main laptop, of course. You know, these things. Tells you what operating system runs on it or is installed by uh, stock on it. Well, I want something like that. First of all, oh, I got a few other little things. Look at that. Okay, so that's, oh, that's it. Oh, look at that. That was the pamphlet. Oh, I was wrong. This is the the rest. Okay. There is a pamphlet. Let's look at that first. So, Unix stickers. Oh, well, that's it. This is a pamphlet. It's not even a sticker. It's just a piece of paper that just says Unix stickers on it. Fascinating. Then we have our luggage sticker, I guess, or a bumper sticker. You can just stick on the case, which I probably will. Because I do that. And this thing. Oh, that is nice. There you go. Oh, out of focus. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Alright. And now I can't get it in focus. But it is. Uh, that's the operating system I'm running. Is Linux Mint. I still don't, can't tell if it's in focus. My my uh, viewfinder is kind of not in focus, so I don't know. Anyway, it actually does look nice. It just uh, I thought it'd be glossy, but it's actually matte, so that's kind of cool. We'll see how that looks on my computer in a second. Now something else I got. Only another dollar, so I got it. We're uh, keyboard stickers. Oh, jeez. Come on, focus. I can't seem to focus it. Jeez. No, I can't get it to focus. No, this angle. Uh, but it's basically the same thing as uh, the little Windows uh, key on most well, Windows or PC keyboards. Like, um this guy right here but these ones are a little different these ones actually these ones here actually are um, transparent so uh, it'll work perfectly with my uh, light up my backlit keyboard hopefully it'll look nice now another thing I got mostly because I was curious I couldn't find reviews of it anywhere. I wanted, or pictures, or anything. I want to know what these look like. Uh, there is a website called osdiscs.com where they give, where they'll sell uh, Linux uh, on DVDs and CDs and well, probably floppies if you want to ask for it. I wanted to know what they looked like. Well. Wow. So first, we have this. Their logo. Which is actually... It was stuck to the sleeve with some double-sided tape. So that's fantastic. And we have this. Well... Well, geez. Now what I was hoping for. First of all, it's in a sleeve. That's disappointing. Hmm. Well, 
dusty. But, yeah. They tell you the manufacture date of the disc. I guess that's cool. So they actually just make these. What it looks like, they make CDs uh, using a regular old disc printer, which maybe I could have bought for well, not too much, maybe 100 or 150 bucks. I don't know. I haven't looked at prices of them. And just print it like that, just text, uh, black, black ink. Yeah. And again, this is Linux Mint. Mostly just to, um, this is mostly just to see what these look like and what what um, what you get for about five bucks, plus shipping. I'm not entirely uh, happy with my purchase, to be honest. That's a little disappointing, I'll admit. Anything else cool in here? No? Doesn't even come with stickers or anything? No? No? Alright. Well, there you go. There's some stickers and, uh, well, uh, some well-made stickers. I'm happy about these, at least. And I wasn't expecting that. That's nice. Um, uh, this... Well, I was hoping for better. But, I mean, for five bucks, uh... No, I was hoping for better. I guess I'll just have to get a disc printer. Oh, well. That's the end of that, I guess. So, you can check out osdisc.com for these and Unix stickers for these if you're interested. Oh, wait a minute. It's got double stick tape. Oh, there you go. It does come with a sticker. Look at that. Just stick it right to the... So, no. Oh, well. That's the end of that. Alright, so, as you can see, this is uh, not the same sticker I got. Kind of in the light there. There we go. This is uh, a sticker that I made myself. I'm going to keep it sideways. What is this? That's yeah, a little better. Still blurry though. This is a little sticker I made myself using a little HP DeskJet printer, and some and some packing tape to make it look glossy and protect it. But that's going now. Yeah, switch it out for this. So we'll see how that looks in a second. And of course we're gonna change that ugly Windows logo. I wish it would focus, but it won't. I'm going to change the ugly Windows logo to the uh, Linux Mint and see how that looks. So, jump cut. Okay, and we're back. I brought this to the basement because there's more light, which is kind of funny. So, I wish it would focus, but I can't seem to figure out why it won't. Oh well, well. Let's have to move it up a bit. So there, you can see it actually looks really nice. And it's a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be. It's like high quality vinyl, like they said. And... It looks nice. I like that a lot. It's you know, here's the old one over here. Where it's done its job warding, you know, warding off the evil windows. But this one's gonna last longer, I think. And then there's the Linux Mint key there. Geez, why won't it focus? Oh well. Maybe I have to turn off autofocus. I don't know. Or turn it on. Maybe that's it. Well, it's hardly effective. I mean, you can't even see it. So we'll try this again. Hang on. I don't know what I did, but it's focusing sort of now. It's kind of going in and out. But there it is. You can see it's it's there. Now how effective it is uh, with um, I've got these specifically because it said it was translucent. But we'll see. Um. Well, you, well, okay, now it's focusing. You can kind of see see the blinking light of the camera too, but yeah, I mean it's all right. It actually doesn't. Well, no, it doesn't look much better <laughs> in real life outside the viewfinder. But, you know, the point of it is to kind of cover the Windows logo. I know where it is. I know my this keyboard very well, so... It's mostly just to make it look nice during the day, when you can brag about running Linux. 
There we go. I would definitely say check out unixstickers.com. It's pretty cool. A West Disc. Not so much. Not so much. Thank you. Now, just as an aside here, this is from um, uh, oh, quite a while ago. If you know anything about uh, Linux, uh, um, we call them version numbers. Also, this is 32-bit. Back when that's all I had. Um, these are back when I went to uh, the Ontario Linux Fest, uh, 2010, which is 2010. 2009, sorry, which is the last one, unfortunately. Um, these are what I got for free. Okay, these are the quality of discs. Discs I got for free. Look at this. There's, first of all, there's some color there. I did have a T-shirt with this. I don't know where it went, but you know, it's an actual printed disc, and it has the logo and it has information about what's on here. So, there's that. And then there's the copyright information, which I don't know if it was on the other one. I just don't think it was. Uh, it comes in a nice sleeve, too. You know, it tells you what it's all about. You know, now, Open Solaris is more for, like, um, servers and stuff. But So, I don't really... Never really installed that one. It does have a live CD, though, which is nice. And this one's not as detailed on the back, but it's still a really nice little sleeve. And... Again, just a printed disc. This is what I was hoping for. It's simple, sure, but it just... It looks like they tried. It, it looks nice. Now, I know OS discs and, and Linux Mint uh, Project don't have nearly as much money as, uh, you know, Sun Microsystems and um, the Fedora Project, which is... Um, oops. Yeah, which is the open source version of Red Hat which is huge for servers but you know that's what I was expecting for five dollars plus shipping but no I got oh good I did bring it here well, we got this okay so yeah no logo of the uh, operating system even though these guys are actually endorsed by Linux Mint, but so they but they don't have the logo for some reason. No no copyright information. No this doesn't look as professional as all. It It's a good start. It does look okay. It, it I don't want to bash them. I I do appreciate it. It uh, it's better than what I could do. Well, Unless I start digging out some of my old ones when I actually had a, a CD label making kit. I actually made some pretty cool ones. But that's besides the point. I'm not making money off it. What is... I don't know. Just not as happy about it as I was hoping. But... This was really just to raise awareness of... Uh, not awareness, but... Just get the word out of there? I don't know. There's no pictures of what the discs looked like. I could, I've could, i searched. I couldn't find anything. So, this is what they look like. That's it. That's all. 